The world is entering a time when common infections caused by bacteria will be deadly and doctors are alarmed. You all of a sudden understand what it was like to practice medicine maybe 50, 70, 80 years ago when there weren't antibiotics. New antibiotics are urgently needed against bacteria that pose the greatest threat to human health. Those most at risk, residents of nursing homes, hospital patients, and children. Children may have weaker immune systems than adults, and they receive smaller doses of antibiotics than adults do. For the longest time, we've had a number of different antibiotics in the pipeline at any given time. And so whenever we ran out of the ability to use one, we would move to the next one. But that's no longer possible. In 2010, the U.S. began work to develop new antibiotics. There are antibiotics in the pipeline, but the numbers are insufficient. Uh, they're insufficient to deal with the increasing rates of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Bacteria are constantly changing to find new ways to resist the drugs that kill them. Once they develop that ability, they can pass it on so other bacteria can become drug-resistant as well. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has asked hospitals and doctors to be careful not to overuse antibiotics. Patients can also help. On its website, the CDC says take antibiotics as prescribed and finish the prescription, even if you feel better. Still, urgent action on a global level is needed to prevent the catastrophe that a post-antibiotic era would cause.